So this video is really cool. Uh, this is the first meeting that we've had for concept art. So this is the first concept art meeting. This is where everything was still really open in terms of style and design. Uh, we didn't really capture the, f the look and feel of the film yet. This meeting happened literally three days after starting production. So everything was very fresh. We didn't have storyboard, uh, previs, animatic. We've reviewed some of the art that the concept artists have already made. Um, one of the comments that you'll see me talking about is how it, it was way too dark and like grim. And I was trying to push the artist into a much more cartoony and fun uh, direction. So we'll talk about that. We also started uh, debating the stereotyping of some of the characters in the film. And that was kind of interesting to like talk about how we approach uh, the, the certain stereotypes that we do have in the film without being offensive. So let's jump into the conversation. So uh, we're going to kick off the, uh, the concept art like first official meeting. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? Uh, How do you want to start? I, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like, I well, don't know, Mo. You're okay, the director. Ahead. Let's hear what you guys have to say first before I start directing. <laughs> I, I just think it would be nice to like um, figure out what kind of style we're going to work in and develop that first before we go into too much of the, um, you know, setting everything up. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I just want to get down, like, figure out if there's any um, specific styles you're looking for. Like, I saw some of the videos you posted um, okay. in the group. Yeah, the animated films. And um, I was just hoping if you could maybe, like, elaborate a bit more on those. Yeah, I can. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we open a new channel called References, and I posted some music, some uh, images. Uh, so the, the short film, Life is Beautiful, is really good for, for the reference. Uh, mac and Cheese. Uh, Feast is really good for, uh, I guess, the kind of painterly style that I'm trying to go for, but it's more realistic than I'm trying to go for. So yeah. Feast, is, Feast is very realistic. Like, the dog is very realistic, and the guy yeah. there. So you're definitely going for something very, very um, tune-shaded and... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still not even sure... I'm, start, I'm not even sure about the the shading, but definitely like the the design and the environments uh, yeah. need to be more cartoony. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit about the images that both Angela and James posted, and tell you like what 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 I get from that. So, for James, um, yeah. the my main issue with that was that it was it was very realistic. So basically, yeah. like you created a world that is, except for the cat, which was an amazing addition, that oh. gonna, <laughs> is already in the storyboard and it's already in the film. <laughs> other than that, other than that, uh, the like the design and the composition, like like the objects are very, like this is how it looks. I you know I I go to Union Square every week and this is how yeah. it looks. So that's a good job yeah. on that, but it needs to be like not so realistic. Even the cars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, even the cars, like, I imagine them, like, you know, like, very, like, square-shaped and, like, very exaggerated, cartoony. Not... Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Uh, yeah. If you look yeah. at the guy, if you look at the guy at the short film, Life is, the, the thing I just said, you can see his face. Um, I'm just looking at the references right now. You can yeah, see that his face, think. yeah, is, like, very, very, like, like, a huge head, tiny body, like, that kind of style. Okay. And for Angela... Uh, uh, it's definitely like way too dark. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, yeah. No, it's like uh, it's very like if you if you look at the videos I posted, like you know they're very cute right. and and bright and vivid and sharp and and cartoony and like this is more like you know uh, yes. f full throttle Lucas Arts from the nineties, like a little dark. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. And also uh, realistic. Okay. Okay. So you so, want to like push the um, aesthetic of like the buildings to become like really exaggerated yes. and kind yes. of even like maybe distorting perspective as well. Or yeah, sure. Like having like windows that are kind of everywhere and you know it's weird shapes or. Yeah, I mean it's concept kind of art, so you can you can yeah. play with the perspective as much as you want, and then. Yeah. 
you know, we'll try to get to the look and feel of how the film will, act, will actually be at the end, and then we'll we'll use it we'll, we'll use it as much as we can. So don't yeah, don't be afraid to go uh, with your imagination on this and not try to like okay. do a really good job of of creating realistic references, but instead go like to the, yeah. you know, and like little there's little touches of of adding uh, like little things to the world which you think would exist in a world full of animals is 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 cool. So if you have yeah those little How things. How about like advertisements all over the place? Exactly. Whatever you know, you with think. like quirky if, stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> if you have those ideas, go ahead. Like I've already seen like Milos added like these little things in the storyboard that I thought were like really great. Like that little elephant man walking like on the street. Like <laughs> and and the That's Statue really of cool. Liberty cat. Like whatever cuz right now we're really in the in the place where things can still be added on. Mm. So like later on it's not going to be possible anymore. Like as soon as yeah. we close the animatic uh, and the previous for sure after the previous is done I'm going to I'm going to lock down all the elements. So this is like the the time to do all those uh cool things that you might think I could add. Um, I was wondering, since you live in New York, would you know any like specific like objects or just small things you'd see on the street that would like definitely point to a scene being New York? Like, well, there's like there's you know we have our own certain trash cans and cabs and uh, like newspaper stands. Uh, I would yeah. I would uh, Google. I, I, actually, I'm going to be in Union Square tomorrow, so you know what? I'm going to take some photos and send you guys uh, over. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, you can find references online, but I think just me going with the camera and like maybe some videos also showing you of like what it's like what would be a really yeah that would be really helpful yeah okay yeah. so I'll do that I think you can start including the characters in the environment okay. if you want like the pig character the the one that um the pig and the fish that was uploaded earlier yeah yeah you can. Uh, Milos posted some uh, some photos. Yeah, yeah, those ones. Yeah, so let me just... I'm going to share my screen for a second. Okay. Do you guys see my screen? So I'm going to open Milos's character. Do you see that? Yep. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, so these three and that guy is pretty much the way it's going to go. It's not final yet, but just to, for you, if you want to use the pig in, a, in like a concept art... Uh, painting, that would be like kind of the style of the, that's the closest thing that's going to be uh, from these drawings. So if you want some like mm. uh, inspiration for for using the characters in the shots, you don't have to do that yet. You can you can keep doing some more concept work of the environment. That's fine. I know yeah. that, that this is like the main thing you're supposed to be doing. But if you do want to pick a shot that has like the the, the food cart and some of the characters, these are the stuff mm. that you should be using. I was thinking like we could get. Um, like when the storyboards progress more, we can get keyframes and just render them out and see how they actually look like. If yeah, the, yeah, that for sure. Yeah. It's gonna be done uh, really soon with uh, not not done with the storyboard, but like he's gonna have more more boards to look at, so we can do that. As for yeah. the first, uh, this one, the first one on the left is gonna be kind of close, but also the picture I posted. I don't know if you've seen it, but if you didn't, I'm gonna show you. It's uh, this fish. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of think of kind of a cuter version of that because that's like a little too much. But mm -hmm. I really like I really like the style. Like I really think this shady uh, you know merchant is gonna be funny for uh, like a food truck guy. Um, yeah. and Holly for mm -hmm. for the colors. Uh, I think your your direction would be really good for their concept art. Like once you you kind of help us find color palettes that we should use, then they would be able to implement them in in the in the drawings, and, and would yeah. have a better direction. So definitely look at the videos in the reference and. and I will. I apologize. I apologize that I'm not caught up. Um, no, it's okay. This is for what this meeting is for. It's not. No one was supposed to like know anything before. This is like we're just starting out. Okay. Um, so look at those videos, especially um, the ones I've mentioned, uh, and the colorful ones. And if you notice, there's one with the monkey there that mm -hmm. is called Shave It, and it's like really freaky with the colors. It's like kind of a kind of psychedelic. 
So mm -hmm. they did something really original with the colors and it's the, uh, while still maintaining a very cartoony and bright theme, but like all the colors are reversed, like the trees are red, the buildings are purple, like it doesn't yeah. make sense, but it kind of works really well. Yeah. So, so if you find, like, you know, something in that, that for inspiration, then it's it's all good. Yeah. So, you know, just come up with like some samples for for color palettes, I guess, that we can use. So, um, am I waiting for the animatic? No, you can okay. start. This is not even this is not even color script. This is just color palettes. Okay, color palette. Yeah, yeah I can just... I can do that very easily. Okay, this is just to get uh, some examples of colors we want to be very uh, like predominant within the film. Ah, like, right. if, so, like so, if you see lift up, like my my previous short, like there are very like there are certain colors that are very clearly dominate the the film. Like the skies are purple. Like every like um, there is the time before, and then there is sunset. Idea of what colors I'm going to have with this one as well, and it's going right, to really. I can definitely play around with that. Um, mm -hmm. My my immediate thought is something along the lines of like. Um, having like an orange sort of like an orange and blue color palette going on with a color color a couple of other different shades yeah, sure. possibly but, I'll experiment yeah, with those yeah things. and when I when I when I'll see it I'll know uh, and then also for James and Angela that would, that would, that would, it would be easier for them to to paint their paintings yes have, definitely yeah mm. I mean I think there's some crossover as well like we can be doing like some quick paintings that you know, influence the colors and yeah, sure. You know, yeah, don't wait. Off. Don't wait for that. You know, yeah, for sure. But uh, in fact, I was just about to ask whether I could, you know, contribute to some of the background character designs. Yeah, for sure. Whatever if that would help. Whatever uh, you guys can do uh, at this stage specifically, because we're trying to find that that feel of the film. Because I don't even mm -hmm. know how we're going to render it yet. So before I know that, I need to see how like how I feel about the look of the film, and then I can decide if I want to go uh, tune shading or, you know, fake it or 2D backgrounds or 3D backgrounds. Like, I don't know. So this is the time to matte experiment Matte paintings are things. very fun. I know, and we have a great matte painter as well. I I just, I mean, we're going to use some matte painting, obviously, because there's mm. the whole city there. But I don't know if I want it to be like a flat look or maybe I want it to be uh, a, a more depth, like 3D look, or maybe I want it to be 2D style, I don't know. When I look through the script, and I've seen the design so far, um, it's all fantastic. There is just, just like one concern that I have. Mm -hmm. um, I think perhaps uh, we should be very careful not to go too far with the, with the um, stereotyping. Of what? Because it can, you know, it is, it's a, you know, Stereotyping a of a... Of stereotyping what, like, of different um, cultures. I don't know. I, I kind of like stereotyping different cultures. Oh, I do too. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, have you seen UK comedy? <laughs> I have, and I yeah. like UK comedy. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just need to be careful not to go too overboard because then we'll be getting to kind of like... Um, right. Well, actually, I don't think there really is any stereotyping going on there. Uh, if you're referring to the, the Japanese sushi bit, um, that's more like he just completely uh, gets into the role that he's playing. So he's not mm -hmm. mocking any culture. He's just good at it. That's so fine. Um, I was just looking yeah. at the concept art. Oh, you, you know, mean the, the, the Mexican, the Mexican bullfighter, that thing. Yeah, that <laughs> and the uh, sort of like gut and the pig when he's in the little Chinese suit. It's just, it's just a comment. It's just a thought yeah, that I have. The, I don't. I really don't think that there's going to be a problem with that, because because there's really like he's not going to be waving that that matador thing. That was just for like for fun. He's he's going to be like a regular person, um, okay. but he is going to be a good. Only just the thoughts I had. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, I I think we'll we'll be good on that. Yeah. Uh, the the pig will change his personality. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he will change his personality based on the food, and it will be like really like funny and nice. I think not. You know. Yeah. Uh, James and Angela, how are you feeling? Um, well, I'm just thinking. I'll just dig in and just put some stuff down and see what happens. And if something comes out that's good, then yeah, that's that's great. But you know, I just think the best thing to do is just pick something mm -hmm. to do and then just start and then 
see what comes out. Cause, you know, yeah. You might and have I, just okay. are you feeling uh, okay with like using characters and stuff too, or or is that oh, like? I can. Do, that's fine. fine. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure how. Because I, I know both <laughs> oh, of you. I've yeah. seen really great character design for both of you, but I've seen like ninety percent is more like environment than the actual characters. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it's yeah. fine. Like I can. Yeah. I've done character design before for like um my internship, but yeah, it's yeah. You know. Okay. Great. I can add. I wasn't sure about like adding um the civilians and people on the street like in my work because I just wasn't sure like. You know what we were gonna do with that, so that's why the streets are empty and the um, yeah. paintings I sent you. Yeah, I think really at this point we're, we we just want to give uh, get as much stuff to to kind of put everybody on on some kind of uh, like to understand like what this film looked like to kind of give it a shape, I guess, and give it like an existence, a world that it lives in. Like I'm gonna use that cat example again, but like putting the Statue of Liberty on a uh, cat thing. Kind of now everybody yeah. kind of like feels like okay I I get this world a little bit like yeah. I can yeah, imagine yeah it's a good introduction yeah it, without having to establish a lot it's a, it's a world of anthropomorphic animals because the Statue of Liberty is a cat exactly yeah so <laughs> these kind of stuff will will make everybody's uh, ideas I think will like bring more ideas and then oh I can maybe do trash cans or like uh, mail mailboxes in the shape of I don't know whatever that's not a good idea but you get you get my idea. <laughs> How do you guys feel about, you know, it's been, what, three days since we started this project, I think? How do you feel about, like, all the communication, Slack, like, posting? Like, do you have any suggestions or complaints, or you think everything is awesome? I think the sl Slack is amazing. Like, it's so easy to keep up to date with everything. All you have to do is just kind of, like, look at Slack, it is, and right? it's all there. It's so That's, good. I know, it's really great. I think really like the first time I've, I'm using it, and it's amazing. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's good. Mm. I didn't know this yeah. existed. But... I had, I heard of it for like project management for like serious, you know, companies and stuff. I I didn't think of it like for for something like that. Yeah, I I suggest I don't know how like how much you want to get into it, but like I have an app on my computer and like my phone and it's just so like so easy to just like post something through your phone or like to the computer without logging to like a website every time. So, bear that in mind. You don't have to do it, but it's I downloaded mm -hmm. the app just so I can check What's oh, okay, like, yeah. I'm out a lot, yeah. Because I have school and everything, so I'll be, right. you know, yeah. I'll be sure to check it every morning so I can keep up to date. Every morning. Yep, same. <laughs> if I see that you haven't checked every day. <laughs> <laughs> it, 